The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye in the cosmos, has captured something extraordinary, mysterious glows that appear to be shining from a distant world nearly four light years away. This enigmatic light has been observed on Proxima Centauri b, the closest known exoplanet to Earth, and it's raising profound questions. Could this be the first artificial light we've seen from an alien civilization? While it may sound like science fiction, the data is real. During its infrared observations of Proxima b, the James Webb Telescope detected repeated pulses of light that seemed too structured, too rhythmic, and too persistent to be natural phenomena. Unlike auroras or volcanic activity that usually scatter light in unpredictable ways, these signals bear a pattern, one that suggests intelligent design. Proxima Centauri b is an exoplanet orbiting Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our Sun, part of the Alpha Centauri system. The planet lies within the habitable zone, where temperatures could allow liquid water to exist. Scientists have long speculated that if any exoplanet in the near-cosmic neighborhood could harbor life, Proxima b is a prime candidate. But never before has there been such a compelling clue, not a biosignature in the traditional sense, but something far more thrilling. What appears to be urban-like illumination on the planet's dark side. Unlike Earth, which rotates and distributes sunlight across its surface, Proxima b is believed to be tidally locked, meaning one side always faces its star while the other is in permanent darkness. If life developed there, intelligent species might have adapted by developing artificial lighting on the night side. The data web gathered shows faint yet consistent emissions in the infrared spectrum coming from Proxima b's dark hemisphere. These aren't just random flashes, the brightness levels fluctuate in a way that is strongly reminiscent of city lights viewed from orbit. Astronomers like David Kipping from Columbia University have voiced cautious optimism. This isn't just a glitch or noise, he says. We're looking at something that begs further exploration. The possibility of artificial illumination is not something we throw around lightly. Understanding what these signals are requires peeling back several layers. Proxima Centauri, the star Proxima b orbits, is a red dwarf. These stars are smaller and cooler than the Sun but far more volatile, often emitting strong solar flares that could strip a nearby planet's atmosphere. But Proxima b may defy the odds. If the planet retains an atmosphere, particularly one dense enough to block harmful radiation, it could theoretically support life or even advanced civilizations. One of the most critical tools in determining the nature of exoplanets is atmospheric analysis. By examining the starlight that passes through the planet's atmosphere, astronomers can look for specific signatures of life, such as oxygen, methane, and ozone. While the James Webb Space Telescope is primarily optimized for infrared light, which is excellent for detecting water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane, even the presence of these gases in the right balance could suggest biological processes. That's where things become fascinating. In the light signature from Proxima b, there are traces of unusual chemical ratios, particularly high methane concentrations without matching levels of carbon monoxide, a combination hard to explain without biological or technological activity. Methane on Earth, for example, is largely produced by living organisms or industrial processes. If such a ratio exists on Proxima b, it could imply one of two things either a biosphere with complex ecosystems or an industrial society capable of producing and managing gases in their environment. Adding to the intrigue is the possibility that these light patterns could be beacons or communication systems rather than city lighting. Some theories suggest that intelligent civilizations might use directed energy, like lasers or modulated light pulses, to signal their presence to the universe. It's worth noting that the SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, community has, in the past, searched for such signals using radio waves. But with telescopes like James Webb, we can now extend that search into other spectra, especially the infrared, which penetrates dust clouds and distant planetary atmospheres more effectively. But there's another possibility. What if the light isn't coming from buildings or communication devices, but from something entirely different, such as orbiting satellites, space-based solar arrays, or even reflective structures? If an advanced civilization exists on Proxima b, 
They may have developed large-scale technology to compensate for their harsh environment. Giant reflectors to illuminate their night side, for instance, or solar collectors to power subterranean cities. Of course, we must also consider natural explanations. Could the lights be caused by volcanic activity, thermal vents, or geological luminescence? While these are plausible on a young, active planet, the observed consistency and symmetry in light emission patterns challenge those ideas. Unlike chaotic natural light, these emissions appear in regular intervals and intensities, much like power grids cycling through nighttime energy consumption patterns here on Earth. Then comes the challenge of detection itself. Stars like Proxima Centauri outshine their planets by several billion times, making direct observation incredibly difficult. The success of the Webb telescope in capturing these signals is largely due to its coronagraph, which blocks starlight and allows dim planetary light to be observed. Future space missions are expected to go even further. For example, NASA's planned Habitable Worlds Observatory will carry even more advanced starlight blocking systems. Another concept, the Starshade, is an enormous flower-shaped spacecraft designed to fly tens of thousands of kilometers ahead of a telescope, casting a shadow and allowing the telescope to directly image distant Earth-like planets. Even ground-based instruments like the Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, currently under construction in Chile, will be able to observe exoplanets in unprecedented detail using adaptive optics. Set to begin operations by 2028, it could help confirm whether the glows on Proxima b are indeed artificial, or if we're being misled by something we don't yet understand. If these lights are indeed real and artificial, it raises thrilling possibilities, the first direct evidence that we are not alone in the universe. Imagine a civilization orbiting the nearest star, just 4.24 light years away, perhaps watching us just as we're watching them. What would their world look like? Would they be peaceful explorers? Technological giants? Survivors of a world bathed in stellar radiation? Such questions move us from the realm of science into philosophy. But that is the beauty of discoveries like this. They challenge our assumptions and inspire new directions in research and imagination. Skeptics urge caution, as they should. Science demands rigor. But astronomers are now urging further missions to revisit Proxima b, using every available tool to confirm what the James Webb Space Telescope has hinted at. Follow-up studies might involve different observation angles, deeper infrared scans, or coordinated efforts using both space and ground observatories. Whether these lights turn out to be alien cities or not, their mere possibility changes the conversation. The universe is no longer a distant mystery but a place where strange lights on a nearby world can stir the hopes of an entire planet. And if those lights truly are from an intelligent species, then they may have just taken the first step in saying, we are here. And that alone makes this one of the most significant and exciting discoveries in the history of space exploration.